This video will explain the past paper questions a bit more difficult about the structure of an atom. Let's look at the first question. The first question says that which statement about the number of particles in an atom is correct. Apart from hydrogen, most of the atoms are having uh, options are given here. Let's read the options that uh, alpha says more neutron than proton. Okay, before I read the option, let me explain you that in hydrogen, hydrogen atom is 1-1 one, one in the periodic table. Like it's the protium isotope of hydrogen, which is having one proton, one electron and zero neutron. It means the nucleus of hydrogen atom is having just one proton. It doesn't have any neutron. So that is the quality or you can say the specific characteristic of hydrogen atom now the standard they have set is hydrogen atom and they see that uh, okay hydrogen is an exception just speak about the other atoms are the neutrons more than proton are the proton more than neutron or are the more are the electron number more than proton or are the proton number more than electron so let me explain you first look at the periodic table hydrogen is one one and most of the atoms are having more proton than the electron we know that is the correct option because for a neutral atom our concept is the number of proton is equal to the number of electron so those options where they are saying that electrons are more than proton or proton are more than electron are completely wrong so in the periodic table most of the atom a part of hydrogen are having more number of neutron than elect and then proton so i've just you look at the periodic table it is in front of you you yourself count and see most of the atoms are having no more number of proton and that is a fact actually we have calculated it and that's a fact statement which is being given to you you have to memorize this concept so the correct answer for this question is where they have said that most of the atoms in the periodic table have more number of neutron than proton the next question says an ion contains 20 electron and has a charge of plus 3. Now the words which are very important in the statement are ion contain 30 electrons, uh, sorry 20 electrons. So ion you are going to underline ion and 20 electrons and a charge of plus 3. It means that the ion is formed with the 20 electrons. It means it was already having three electrons more because the ion has a charge of plus three it means it has lost three electrons so ion when it is having 20 electrons and the charge when it is plus three so we are adding 20 and three that is making 23 so from the list you have to select the atom of um, select the atom which must be having 23 electrons in the atomic state and when it is it is it has formed an ion it has lost the, those three electrons so looking at the periodic table, I have opened the periodic table in front of you. Just look here that vanadium is the atom which is having 23 atoms and when it has formed an ion, its ion is having a plus 3 charge. So it will have a 20 electrons. So the answer is going to be delta for this question. Alright, the next question is the table shows data for particles W, X, Y and Z. Alright, the number of proton, nu nucleon number and electron is given. Now mind it that in the middle column you have nucleon number. Right? So that is the sum of proton and neutron. That is not a neutron number. That is a nucleon number. Nucleon is proton plus neutron. Right? Okay. Which statements are correct? We have to read all the three options and we critically analyze whether it is being justified by the table or not. All right. Statement one says W and X are the isotopes of the same element. Okay. Before we check whether W and X are the isotopes, you must know that what are isotopes? Isotopes are the atoms of the same element with the same number of proton but different number of neutrons. So W is having 6 protons and X is having 6 protons. The number of proton is same. Are they are, uh, having different number of neutrons? Yes. From the nucleon number I can calculate that W is having 6 nu uh, neutrons and X is having 8 neutrons. So they are having different neutrons but same protons so that statement is correct okay look at the second um, statement y is in group 5 of the periodic table okay looking at the characteristics of the groups in the periodic table you must know that the group 5 must be having 5 electrons in its outermost shell so y is having a 
electron uh, number of 7 that means in the first shell having 2 electrons in the second shell having 5 electrons so yes it is having 5 electrons in the valence shell so that means y is in the group 5 of the periodic table even that statement is correct 1 and 2 is correct now let's see if 3 is correct z is a cation Cation is the atom which has lost its electrons. So that means protons are more than electrons. So here in Z we see protons are less than electrons. So that means Z is not a cation. It is an anion. So 1 and 2 statement is correct. That means alpha is the correct answer for this question. Next question is which particle contains most electrons? Okay, I have told you many times how to calculate the number of proton, electron and neutron in an atom and an ion. So I am leaving this question for you. You calculate it and write the question in the comment box and I will definitely reply you whether you are right or wrong. And then you know how much is your understanding and then you can practice more questions. Okay, the last question of this video is the diagram of an ion is shown and the ion is here with the plus one charge and it is having two electron in the first shell and eight in the last shell. That means 10 electron and it has lost one electron must be having 11 electron uh, before losing uh, its one electron or before forming an ion. So as we know that a neutral atom is having equal number of proton and electron, so that means this ion before it has lost its electron it must be having 11 proton so let's read the options and the question what can be deduced about the number of proton in this ion see i have already calculated number of protons for you so you already know that it is having 11 protons so charlie is the answer for this question that's all for this video i'll catch you in the next video thank you god bless you allah face